Let's talk about Dirac delta function and, and have some discussion on the properties of Dirac delta function. And if we rightly go back to Schrodinger's equation, we have time-dependent Schrodinger equation and, and we have time-independent Schrodinger wave equation. And the, the two kinds of solutions that we can have to the Schrodinger equation uh, they correspond precisely to, to bound and, uh, and the scattering states. I mean, solving time-independent Schrodinger's equation will uh, certainly lead to, to, to the bound states, but uh, solving time-dependent Schrodinger's equation leads to, to the scattering of states. And even this distinction is even, even cleaner, it's, it's even clear uh, in, the, in the quantum uh, formalism in quantum domain because the phenomenon of tunneling in, in quantum mechanics what we have is we have the phenomenon of tunneling that the particle has some finite probability to tunnel uh, through, through a potential will uh, which has more energy than that of the energy of the incident particle. So uh, so this, this tunneling, basically, it allows the particle to, to leak uh, uh, through any finite potential barrier. So the only thing that matters here is, is the potential at, at infinity. I mean, we can, we, can, we, can, we can put things like E. Uh, if E is the energy, if this energy is less than V, uh, it, will, it will lead to, to bound states. And if this E is, is greater than V, this will lead to, to the phenomenon uh, known as scattering. So we can call it scattering state. And in, in, in real life, most of the potentials, they go to zero uh, at infinity. So, so if you have a potential at infinity, it will go to zero. And, and in, in these cases, the, 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 the criteria can be, this criteria can be, can be simplified more. Uh, it can be simplified uh, to, to the bound state for E less than V and uh, for scattering state for E greater than V. Now, because the, the infinite square will, uh, if, if we have the, the, the infinite square well problem where we calculate the energy eigenvalues, the quantized energies for the particle and and harmonic oscillator potentials. Uh, in in both cases, uh, uh, the potential goes to to infinity, uh, and 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 since the potential goes to infinity, we can lock down the situation to, to the bound states and uh, for for time for the solution of time independent. Uh, Schrodinger's equation and, and scattering state for, for the solution of the time-dependent Schrodinger's equation. Now, the, the original context that we want to discuss here is, here is the Dirac delta function. And what is this Dirac delta function? It is basically an, an infinitely high and uh, uh, infinitesimally uh, narrow spike at the origin, suppose this is the origin uh, at, say, uh, say choosing x equal to zero, whose area, if you think about this uh, uh, spike as, as as a small piece of area, uh, the area of this uh, uh, this spike uh, is equal to one, and and this thing is uh, what is called as Dirac. Uh, uh, delta function uh, and and what we have we have we have taken a single card coordinate x coordinate and and this peak is the representative of delta of x so so defining uh, uh, this delta function this delta of x this is going to be zero if this x that we have this x is equal to zero and, and this delta x goes to infinity if this x, uh, here it is, x is not equal to zero. It goes to uh, infinity at x is equal to zero. Such that the, the area that's enclosed, if we take the small increments with respect to the origin of this 
delta x, then the, the area that it encloses, the overall area enclosed by this drop delta function with respect to the position uh, is always equal to 1. So, uh, so we can write down integral from minus infinity to infinity delta of x dx, uh, it gives a value equal to 1. Now, it is if if we if we speak uh, technically it's 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 not a function at all uh, uh, this is because it's not finite it's not finite at x is equal to 0 it's it's infinite at x is equal to 0 uh, and, and mathematicians uh, uh, they, they they generally call it as as the generalized function or they call it distribution now uh, now it, it is extremely useful uh, uh, in, in addition to, to talking about the uh, this 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 is not a function but it's a generalized function or, or it's a distribution it's uh, instead it is an extremely useful tool uh, it's a useful construct in in the theoretical physics and uh, and it can be exploited in the domains of electrodynamics I mean the charge density at a point uh, it can be exploited uh, in the problems like that and uh, so, so to speak, uh, here uh, this uh, uh, this delta function, this draw delta function, uh, uh, can be uh, can be thought of uh, as as a function, a generalized function, delta of x, of whose value is infinity at x is equal to zero, and the the area enclosed by this draw delta function in a very very short range of edges uh, these edges are extremely small uh, the this uh, this this area enclosed by this in integral uh, equals 1 now uh, let's talk about uh, the the properties of this uh, drop delta function i mean the very first important uh, uh, property is that this this delta of minus x uh, is equal to delta of x now to explain this uh, equation uh, we 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 know that that uh, that this uh, if we have a function if we have a fun an even function and if we uh, take an example of say for example cos of minus theta uh, this cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta because uh, we we understand this cos will will gallop this negative sign so this cos uh, this cos of minus theta, uh, it's uh, it's an even function, and if we take an example of sine of minus theta, uh, then the minus sine will automatically come out, and we call this function as the odd function. Now we would like to utilize the, the, the concept of even and odd function to obtain this property of Dirac delta function, and in, in doing so, what we understand, we understand that that the area enclosed by this Dirac delta function is equal to one. And what we will do is we will replace x by uh, we will replace x by minus x. So in doing so, the the limits will also change. So we will have uh, integral plus infinity to infinity delta of, of minus x d of minus x uh, equals 1 okay I would like to call this 1 for the time being and moving on from here okay what we will obtain we will obtain uh, we can take the negative out so this is plus infinity to minus infinity delta of minus x then d of x equals 1 now if we again change the limits of this integral uh, the the this integral will again move from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity. So delta of minus x dx is equal to 1. All right. Now we can have the comparison between the two equations. Uh, the equation that's originally here and the equation that we have obtained by, by choosing uh, minus x for uh, for, for for plus x, so we can see that the the, the left hand sides of both the integrals, uh, the the right hand sides are same, and we can compare the the two results. And on on comparing the two results, uh, what we will obtain is we obtain that this uh, this delta of minus x is equal to delta of x. So this was uh, this was the first property uh, that we have. 
uh, endorsed that we have uh, that we have tried to obtain uh, using the concept of uh, even functions. Now there is another important property of this drop delta function that is if x uh, is a function and, and x of delta x is equal to zero. Now if we go back to, to, to the if we go back to to the integral that we have minus infinity to infinity delta of x d of x is equal to to one. Okay, so this is our integral, and but at the same time, if I if I choose this delta x, I, if I define this delta x, its value is zero. For x is not equal to zero, its value is infinity. For x is equal to zero, so that means uh, that this delta x ha has a value when 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 x is equal to zero, and the vice versa. This delta x does not have any value when x is not equal to zero. Now, what was the property that, that we were looking for? We are looking for x delta x is equal to zero. So, so if, uh, if delta x is not equal to zero, then x certainly has to be zero. So if either of the two is zero, the result of the, the product between x and delta x will lead to, to zero. Now let's go with the, the, the third property, uh, say for example, if I have f of x of delta of x, uh, this is equal to f of zero uh, delta of x. Now let us try to prove this uh, equation using the basic definition of drop delta function. Now again, we have the same situation, this delta of x is zero for x not equal to zero, and this delta of x is infinity and x is not equal to zero. So what does it mean? So it means that uh, that this uh, this this delta of x this is not equal to zero at x is equal to zero. So delta x is not equal to zero at x is equal to zero. So so we can generalize uh, this equation to be true that f of x of delta of x is f of zero. So at x equal to zero, this delta of x is not equal to zero. So uh, with this, we can go uh, with, with this property uh, of drop delta function. Now using the, the uh, looking for the next property is uh, that minus infinity to infinity uh, f of x and, and delta of x and dx is f of zero. So we have uh, incorporated the function f of x here. Now to prove this uh, equation, uh, what we have if I choose minus infinity to infinity f of x, delta of x and, and d of x, I can write down this as using the property that we have already proved minus infinity to plus infinity instead of f of x, I would like to use f of zero here. This, uh, this equation is already proved. So delta x will remain there as it is, then we will have dx. Now this f, f of zero is, is certainly a constant and we can get this constant out of the integration. So this is minus infinity to infinity delta of x dx. Okay, so uh, so this is my uh, this is my uh, uh, drop delta function, uh, and its value from minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to one. So I can say that integral minus infinity to infinity f of x delta of x d of x is equal to f of zero. So I think this equation is proved uh, that uh, the integration over minus infinity to plus infinity f of x delta of x dx is equal to f of zero. Now, we have another uh, important property of this drop delta function, and what is that? Let me call that number five. That's the delta of ax uh, is one by a delta of x. Now, this a is, is a positive number. It's greater than zero. Okay, so if that's the case, if I start again with drop delta function, uh, so what it is, it is from minus infinity to infinity using f of x, uh, delta of ax, uh, d of x. Now, 
Uh, in this case, uh, so what am I using? Uh, I'm using the previous equation uh, basically to obtain the result for this delta of ax where this a is, is a positive number. Now let us do some substitutions here. If, if, if I assume that this, this ax is equal to y, then x will be certainly equal to y by a. So dx will be dy by a. So we can think of using this and converting this integral from minus infinity to infinity. So this is uh, my f of x, but x is y by a. So I can write f of y by a, then delta uh, ax is simply y. And then uh, instead of dx, I'll write dy by a. And we can see that this 1 by a, it's a constant, we can get it out of the integration. So this is this is 1 by a integral minus infinity to infinity, f of y by a, then delta of y, then dy. Okay, so so now we can see this, uh, we can see this, uh, this result here, and, and, <clears throat> and we can substitute for this, for this we can, uh, we can substitute uh, delta of x okay so so what can we obtain here is uh, uh, we can proceed from here so so I can think of uh, uh, I can think of changing it back also if I'm interested I can do that so this is 1 by a integral minus infinity to infinity so uh, instead of uh, y by a I will use x instead of y uh, I will be using, uh, uh, instead of y, I'll be using ax, and, and then instead of dy, uh, and instead of uh, dy, I can be using dx. So what will I obtain? I will obtain uh, 1 by a is, is out, and I will obtain f of x, delta of ax, and dx. And this thing is f of 0. So this is 1 by a of f of 0. So this way uh, we, have, uh, we have obtained uh, we have obtained this result that we were looking for uh, previously. And so utilizing this, uh, uh, this uh, as 1 by a f of 0, uh, this thing that we have here, okay, this thing is over, uh, this thing is over f of 0, right, and we, we can, we can proceed from here, now we will look for another important property uh, of this drug delta function that is, that is shifting, it has a shifting proper, property, it can shift, and what's that, that is, uh, Suppose I have f of x delta of x. I can write it as f of 0 delta of x uh, Okay, that, that's clear now if I have delta of x minus a of delta of x uh, This will be f of a uh, delta of x minus a So what does it mean basically this delta of x minus a? Its value is going to be 0 for all x is not equal to a and its value is going to be infinity for all uh, x is equal to a. So, so we, can, we can symmetrize this drug delta function. Uh, we can also write down integral minus infinity to infinity uh, delta of x minus a then dx is equal to 1. It will enclose a, an area uh, equal to 1. So, so what you are doing basically, you are translating. Uh, you are translating the peak. So suppose this is the peak at x is equal to 0. You are theoretically translating this peak at x is equal to a. So choosing this distance equal to a. So you are obtaining this spike of the delta function. You are translating it from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a. And we can, uh, we can proceed from here. So this is the shifting property of, of drug delta function. There is another important uh, property that is this the derivative 
if I take delta dash of x uh, of minus x, this is equal to minus times delta dash of x. Now we want to we want to prove that this uh, the derivative of negative of x is negative times uh, the derivative of x. So in doing so, uh, I, if I start from here instead of delta dash, if I take from from left hand side, what would I do? So choosing the left hand side, so I will write dou by dou of minus x, dou delta minus x. Okay, and uh, this will be minus dou by dou x of, of delta of minus x. All right, so, so we understand that delta of minus x is equal to, uh, it is equal to minus of delta, it's, it's equal to delta of x, uh, talking about the first property that we have proved, that, uh, that delta of minus x is delta of x. So using that property of Dirac delta function, we will have minus dou by dou x of delta x. So, so we can generalize it, okay? We can generalize it as uh, uh, dou by dou x of uh, uh, delta of x, delta of minus x is minus dou by dou x of delta of uh, delta of x. Or simply we can write delta dash of minus x is equal to minus delta dash of x. And then we have another important property of drop delta function uh, in terms of derivatives. I mean, uh, calling it, say, this is the next property. What's that? That's x uh, d by dx of, of delta of x is minus delta of x. All right. In order to prove this uh, equation, uh, we we will uh, we will be integrating it from minus infinity to infinity, and we will be uh, we'll be using uv rule here between x and d by dx of delta x. So we can have x as its uh, integration of uh, when we will integrate it. The point is, so we have to choose first the integral delta of x. Okay, now I choose this as u and this as v. What we'll obtain is, we will obtain, uh, we'll be obtaining x uh, and, and this uh, integration of v, that integral and differential uh, will go. So we will have x delta of x and the limit will be from minus infinity to plus infinity. Then you will have minus uh, integral of differential of x that will be 1 so you will have delta of x and dx minus infinity to infinity all right so we can proceed from here now at at plus infinity this uh, the value of delta x is 0 at minus infinity, the value of this delta x is zero, so we can cancel down this thing. Uh, what we are obtaining here is minus integral minus infinity to infinity delta of x d of x, and and uh, this is nothing but uh, minus delta of x. So with this, uh, I would like to end this video. So in this video, I have tried to talk about. Yeah, this drug delta function and I, I have tried to uh, to discuss uh, the, the mathematical uh, uh, mathematical equalities uh, that are linked with this drug uh, uh, delta function and we have tried to to, to prove all of those uh, uh, those properties most of those properties that are linked with this drug delta function